financial problems, elder law, tax problems, business matters, divorce, personal injury, bankruptcy, your life, your reality. Life is complicated. There is the law and there is reality. Welcome to Law and Reality, sponsored by Thav Gross. Now, here's your host, Ken Gross. This is the show, this is the time, this is the place. <laughs> on the radio on Saturday, on TV on Sunday. Uh, welcome, Brian Small. It's just you and me today. Wonderful to be here, Ken. It's a absolutely beautiful day outside. Not. Do you think summer's going to arrive? Any well, year? you never know, because uh, if you're watching, if you're listening to the show, the weather is poor. Maybe if you're watching the show. Yeah, the weather when, forecast when for tomorrow is also, oh, that's right, this airs in about a week, so on TV, so let's hope the weather's good for that weekend. All right, so let's, let, let me set the stage what we're going to talk about in this segment. Uh, we're going to do an update on housing, and believe it or not, we have a new housing problem that is being reported in the media, and I think it's real, and I want to walk through it with you. It's considered, it was ca called the new housing crisis in a recent article in, in the Wall Street Journal uh, that was on June 12th. And go back to the heart of the financial crisis. We, at one point, we had 11 million homes underwater. 25% of the houses in the United States that had a mortgage were underwater. Things have improved. The current stats as of this last two weeks are that 15.4% of homeowners with a mortgage, which is 7.9 million homes, are still underwater. So that's an improvement from 25% at the heart of the financial crisis. You know, I know, I know we don't have that statistic available to us, but wouldn't it be interesting to, to look at 2007 before the the bubble burst, and find out how many homes at that point were underwater. It's it's available. I don't have it handy, and I, I, I could guess the number to be probably around 2%, but I don't know. I will check that and get back. Maybe when we come to a break, we can you, you can find it on uh, Googling uh, your way to just, the thing. Just, you know, you for a underwater 2007. Yeah. A is, comparison is to, to understand where we are when we have a healthy economy well, well, or a or a pretend or healthy the economy financial crisis i mean go back to that period in time before the financial crisis if someone was facing foreclosure the lender almost always bid the amount of the debt because houses were considered to be typically equal or greater than value than than the amount of the mortgage oh absolutely so you never you never you never saw a deficiency of, balance at least in michigan yeah. on a on a so mortgage that, foreclosure that percentage could have been less than 2% but let me finish the thing the last quarter the percentage of homes underwater were 16.9% so in the last quarter we 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 reduced by 1.5% so there is progress but there's one sobering statistic that came out recently as well Four million of the underwater borrowers, that's four out of that 7.9 million, are 50%. more than 20% underwater. So if you your house is worth 100 grand, it means your mortgage balance between first and second mortgage or just first mortgage is 120,000 plus. So there's still a lot of people, four million borrowers, that are not only underwater, but they're underwater by more than 20%. So that means that there's still a problem. You know, it, and it, it's hard. And then add to the problem is who is this affecting? And the statistics indicate that the people that are owning the homes in the one third lowest price range, so the homes that are the least expensive, least valuable homes, their rate of underwater is twenty-five uh, percent. So you're As saying that, that a quarter of the owners, a, th a third of the owners that the, the third of the owners that have the least valuable homes, of those third, twenty five percent of those people are underwater. Okay, so for your your starter home kind of concept, most of those people, their homes 
are the lower value homes, and they are one third of those people are underwater in their homes. I would go starter home and also municipalities, city, city of Detroit, city of Redford, the homes that are in the, that are right now in the range of a hundred to a hundred and fifty thousand compared to the homes that are three hundred thousand dollars plus. Got it. Um, you know so. And the ones that are in the most valuable home range, only 8% are underwater. So what it says to you right off the bat is the people that can least afford to suffer are suffering the most because the people that have the lowest value in homes are the ones that have the highest likelihood of being underwater. Oh, so what you're but saying is, the, the, is, the, is the lower middle class is getting stepped down again. Yeah, yeah I, I, I think that's a fair There's statement. a shock. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is, I guess, is, is the answer to that. But let's go to the next problem. The next problem is the HELOC problem. What now, is a HELOC? Do you know? I do. Should we tell our audience? Do you know what the letters stand for? Home Equity Line of Credit. Now, I've always called it a, a HELOC because I've known that term. Most, so most, Many people do. A lot of people don't. But when I went to fill in the acronym right off the bat as I was doing the outline, I started off and I went home equity loan. And then I went home equity loan. What could the OC be then? And then you I, were so a little I tired when you were writing up, up the outline, weren't you? Home equity line of credit made it a lot easier. Now, let's, let's, let's make sure our listeners understand something because I get people that come into my office all the time and they say, I say, do you have a second mortgage? And they go, no, I have a HELOC. A HELOC is a mortgage 100 percent it is nothing but a mortgage it is just a different definition of Instead the type of, of a loan. fixed rate loan they give you a line of credit you can borrow against it now is it a, is it always a second mortgage no it could be a first mortgage if it's the first if you had your house paid for and free and clear and you went and you took out a heloc so you'd have a line of credit that you could borrow against the house then the heloc would be in a first mortgage position typically it's in a second mortgage position because people have a fixed term loan on their first mortgage. Typically. Typically. Unless right. you've now, here's been financing your home for years and just got into those creative financing in 2004, 2005, and you're carrying a variable rate mortgage and, and right, blah, blah, blah. On, 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 on. Give me like a soliloquy here. Um, Here's the problem. Oh, Romeo, where are far? 2004, no, Romeo. 2005 <laughs> is when a tremendous number of HELOCs were taken out. Most of those had a fixed term of 10 years. Uh oh. And right now, 10 years are up. And yeah. the question is what does that mean for you? It's devastating the effects of debt and foreclosure on you and your family. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. Some fear the word bankruptcy, but in reality, it's a strategy to save your home and to eliminate debt. If you're in financial trouble, timing is critical. You need to take action now. We've been saving homes and eliminating debt for over 33 years. Call Thav Gross, 888-235-HELP. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke, and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. A lifetime of hard work. If you don't have the right plan in place, you can lose your home, your savings, and more. And you didn't come this far to lose everything. Samasco Law wants you to know that laws are changing. Today, the average cost of nursing home care is $85,000 a year. With proper planning, we can help protect your life savings and get you the Medicaid and nursing home benefits you deserve. How much can you afford to lose? Call Samasco Law today. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Fav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. All right, welcome back. All right, so 
let's frame this issue on the HELOC. So HELOCs are out there, home equity lines of credit. They were on a 10-year loan. A lot of them were 2004, 5, and 6. Now they're coming due. They come due one of two ways. I have one. I'm with, with City. I've been getting notices for the last six months that says to me, starting in August, my loan converts to a 20-year amortization. For the first 10 years, it was interest, interest only. only. You could borrow on the, on the line of credit as you chose up until the financial crisis when they sent me a letter saying, you don't have any equity in your home, so your line is frozen. You, you can pay us, but you can't borrow anymore. Uh, but now, so I've been paying the interest only along well, the way. And actually, since things have gotten better and I decided to keep the house, I increased the payment and started making a payment greater than that. But my so, contractual payment is going from 150 bucks a month, which is basically what the interest is, a little bit less, to 325 starting next month. Well, you're lucky. And that, right. Do you so know why least, you're lucky? No. Tell because me why I'm lucky. you have I mean I mean I think I'm inherently lucky yeah, but, well, but why, you because the type of HELOC lucky? you have at least puts you in a position where you have I can a keep, you I have can keep your house right. because it changes to a 20 year amortized loan. A you lot mean that, that doesn't happen for everybody? It, indeed it does not. There are two types of HELOCs as you started to say. One is a reamortizes out to pay the principal and interest over the remaining either 5 years, 10 years, 15 years or 30 20 years or it balloon? comes due, period, and there's a balloon. And traditionally... Well, don't get into the scope of solving the problem now, but no, 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 lay but, it out here. But, but traditionally, what, what, what you, when you took out a balloon note, the policy and the what you would always do is you just go back into the bank and you'd refinance it, or but, you'd but put now, your two loans together. Suppose you're one of the ones that are in this category of your 20% underwater. underwater. You are kind of stuck unless there's some solutions out there for you, we're which gonna, there we're, are. We're going to go through the solutions. Let me give you just the numbers of how big this problem is. It says in 2004, uh, borrowers who signed up for HELOCs in 2004 were 30 days or more late on $1.8 billion of loan balances just after four months of principal payments coming in. So. These are people that have kicked into like my 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 HELOC where they're required to make the higher payment and they are already running 1.8 billion behind. Right. When this they're represents four months into the new payment, that bumped up two three hundred bucks for them. They're that's at four months uh, coming after it comes due. One point those billion. borrowers are thirty days or more behind. Correct. What, yeah, and it's $1.8 billion, which represents 4.3 of the balances on 2004 HELOCs, which is up from 2.7 So the delinquency uh, rate percent. is increasing Almost on home double. equity lines of credit. Right. And this is, we're just starting. 2004 year. For, so we're just starting to get into the, the HELOCs coming due. Yeah, let me tell you what comes, comes next. 3.2 million HELOCs are going to come due either balance due or convert to a term loan between 2005 and 2007, which means between 2015 and 2017. And that's $186 billion with the HELOC. So this, is, this isn't like the first mortgage problem where you had trillions of dollars at issue, but this is going to affect a lot of people. Well, this, is, this, this type of situation can really affect the bottom line of the banks without putting them into they carry that. A, 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 a total cataclysmic failure. Yeah. Now, the question on that is why, and the reason, and, and see if you agree with me, Brian, the reason is banks typically hold the second mortgages in their portfolio. They don't, they don't become securitized, securitized uh, uh, vehicles that are sold off like the whole first mortgage market goes. And, you know, when you have an FHA or you have a Fannie Mae or a Freddie Mac loan on the first mortgage, the bank is guaranteed on that mortgage if, if you don't pay. Not true when it comes to the second mortgage. That's my understanding of them also. Yeah. So, yeah, you've got, you've got the banks are actually going to get squeezed on this, which... Which Might is be good because a good thing. It, it'll cause them to maybe have a level of flexibility to let's go back to a little Monty Hall days of let's make a deal rather than just wait, uh, wait, being wait, wait. big Did bag, you just big suggest big that a bank. big bad bank might have Do to have compassion? No. Not mm. a chance. 
practicality. Ah, Real- practicality, their bottom I, line, I think protecting bank, their bottom line. A big bank, just like the consumer and everyone else, deals with reality. And reality is if the big bank realizes it's not going to get paid and it's facing foreclosure as the alternative and it's going to take the loss rather than push it off on the government like it happened in the entire financial crisis, I think the big banks will deal. But that comes down to what our options are. Let me Bank of America, 70 percent of its home equity balances right now are in homes that are underwater. You just said 70. You mean 17. 17 percent. Thank you. And city, the same statistic is 13% reported this month. So it's a big problem. Now, the range of problems comes to this. The HELOC comes due. It's either going to convert to a balance due or interest to a 20-year term. So your little, your little payment becomes a big payment. Your house may be underwater. Your first mortgage may exceed the fair market value of your home. Or your home is underwater, but not because of the first mortgage, but because of the HELOC. And now I need you, Brian, the wizard of bankruptcy and financial crisis management, the second wizard of financial crisis management, to figure out what our options are. Now, let me give you scenario number one as we lead coming up to the break. The HELOC comes due. It's not converting to a 20-year term. What are my what are what are my options? Well, that's simple. You just write a check and pay it off. Problem solved. So yeah. it's a fifty no thousand no fifty thousand dollar balance. You write no, the check. Write a check. All right. Just in case I'm a little cash short at the moment and I don't have the fifty grand cash, can you give me another alternative? Absolutely. Go to the bank, take out a new mortgage encompassing the old mortgage. Refinance. Okay. Can I use HARP for that? You know, unfortunately, you can't use HARP for that. What, if w- wait, what is HARP? It's like the, the violin- Home Affordable Refinance Program. Unless the house is a fa- unless the loans are Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, and you can't use that, and the HARP will not the HARP will refinance the first mortgage, but it won't refinance the second. That's they don't, they don't, that's they don't the way the current program works, which right? Is, which maybe they'll change that because this problem is going to get big enough, but it's going to take an act of of uh, uh, of the administration. <laughs> it might to take do an it. act of God. <laughs> It could be a miracle. Well, we're coming up to the break, but I could also sell the house, right? Oh, sure. But right. I'm underwater. What if I'm underwater? What if you still want to live in the house? All right. So what? So when we come up to the, when we come back from the break, I'm going to need you to tell me what really are my options. Have I got to roll this loan over, but the balance is due, and I'm getting a letter from Bank of America that says, "Pay me off." Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. A lifetime of hard work. If you're approaching retirement and don't have the right plan in place, you can lose your home, your investments, and your savings. And you didn't come this far to lose everything. Putting a solid strategy in place with Samasco Law legally protects your assets as well as your wishes. Since a will doesn't cover you medically or financially, Samasco Law goes beyond ordinary asset management protection to safeguard everything you have. How much can you afford to lose? Call Samasco Law today. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke, and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. A lifetime of hard work. 
If you don't have the right plan in place, you can lose your home, your savings, and more. And you didn't come this far to lose everything. Samasco Law wants you to know that laws are changing. Today, the average cost of nursing home care is $85,000 a year. With proper planning, we can help protect your life savings and get you the Medicaid and nursing home benefits you deserve. How much can you afford to lose? Call Samasco Law today. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. All right, welcome back. Before we get back to our options with regard to how we deal with the HELOC, uh, let me do some quick announcements. We've got our office in Flint is up and running. We'll make sure people know that. Uh, you need financial assistance, legal assistance, you, you're more than welcome. Just call our 888-235-HELP number, schedule an appointment, and we can meet you out in Flint. Uh, you want to remember to watch the TV version of Law & Reality. It's every Sunday at 11 o'clock a.m. And we have a seminar coming up. It is Wednesday, July 15th. Save Money Through Debt Elimination. It's in our offices at Bingham Farms from 7 to 8.30 p.m. Our seminars are very well attended. Typically, we have get 50 to 100 registrants per seminar. Um, people enjoy them. There's a Q&A at the end. Brian and I make a presentation. We cover all of the areas at issue. Housing problems, credit card debt, tax problems, financial problems relative to divorce, whether you should file bankruptcy, whether there's a solution outside of bankruptcy, very comprehensive. It's a lay out all the options type of approach to finances. And the bottom line mantra is preserve your future income for you and your family. It's not so much about debt elimination as it is to repositioning yourself so that the cash starts going in the bank rather than to the bank. And you get a free copy of my book, Dump Your Debt, if you attend. It's 7 to 8.30 in Bingham Farms. You want to sign up for that, go to lawnreality.com. You'll see right at the very front part of the homepage a big red bar across that you click on. You can sign up that way. And you can also do it the old-fashioned way. Just go to eight, call 888-235-HELP. And, of course, you can also sign up if you go to the Thav Gross website. I want to thank our sponsors, Thav Gross and uh, Pat Samasco from Samasco Law. We also have free reports. You can get them on the Law and Reality website. Uh, Retiree's Guide to Social Security from Pat Samasco and Reg X, How to Save Your Home, The Hidden Secrets Using Reg X, written by myself. Both of those are available on the Law and Reality website for free. Now back to the HELOC. So I don't want to sell the house. I don't want to short sell the house. The loan is due. What's my next option? Bro? Okay, so and we got to move kind of quickly because we're, we're, we're getting rid of the fictional here. solutions, and yeah. we're going to come to some real yeah. ones. Prag pragmatic. All right. Lender, so the first thing you should do before you consider any harsher reality, uh, so to speak, is pick up the phone and start calling the lender. See what type of programs that they have available. To be honest with you, just because your loan is coming due doesn't mean that the lender isn't willing to extend the terms or rewrite the 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 line even without going through the whole process of doing a, a, a loan modification. Absolutely. Communication is best. They, I, I'm telling you, with, with Citi, I'm, they have literally sent me probably 15 letters giving me advance notice that my payment was going to go from A to B, that it was going up. And each of those letters said, if you're having experiencing problems, call us. Now, I didn't call them in my particular circumstance, so I don't know what programs were available. But if, if you're underwater particularly, the lender doesn't really want to be in a position that he has to foreclose because there's no equity in the house for the second mortgage anyway. They don't want to foreclose. So they probably want to make a deal. You need to pursue that. But if you ignore it, what will happen? <laughs> they're going to they're gonna get you. Ignoring gonna... it is a big mistake. You need to address the problem. You know, one thing you, you, you really need to be familiar with if you have one of these home equity lines of credit is what is the the what do the documents say that you signed a lot of the documents a lot of these home equity lines 
have something called a conversion option. And the conversion option, you have to do something. You within uh, there's a there's, there's a the there's a window of opportunity, and that window of opportunity is like a forty five day window that you get six months before your line comes you, due. And then you could make the conversion. I. I my window of opportunity to ask you questions on this topic is closing, too, because we're coming to Got the end it. of the segment. What about Chapter 13? Now, How would that work? Let's assume that the lender, you lose. No the deal. Le the lender no says no deal. The you. lender is going to go to foreclosure. Chapter or sue you for the money. Or sue you. Chapter 13 can do one of two things. It can eliminate the HELOC through a lien strip. That's if the house is underwater on the first mortgage? Correct. Or, Which means the value of the house is less than the balance on your first mortgage. Right. Okay. Or let's assume that twenty, thirty thousand dollar HELOC came due, and they say, "All right, write us a check." And you're like, "I don't have it." Now that's my question. If I, if you throw it into a Chapter Thirteen at that point, and the house is not underwater, uh -huh. do you get five years? to You pay do. The you you that take case, that even loan. The balance is due. They can't just foreclose on nope. you. No, you you can shove a modification down their throats by. Literally taking the principal and paying it off over five years. So, but you'd have to pay the whole principal off over five you years. You do so have if to you pay the whole fifty grand. You're going to have to pay ten grand a year. E e effectively, yes. But would that mean at what, interest? How would that work with your other um, credit card debt? Well, that just because it's a secured debt, the that subsumes First. the the, so the remaining credit cards money. Would get zero. The credit cards could get zero. So even though it sounds like you might get stuck paying a lot on 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 paying off the second mortgage in five years, you would do that to the benefit of getting of paying the credit cards virtually zero. It still and might that, be a good idea, even if that, then you're when you end the five years, you no longer have a second mortgage. Right, because if you let's say they they convert it to a twenty year loan, and your twenty year loan is going to be, if you take what you owe over 20 years, it's basically two and a half times your your loan balance at that point. Instead of paying two and a half times, you could literally pay one times and be done in the five The thing years. that I like about it is this, is you have to look at the big picture. And my big picture is this. The days of having your house be the refinancing mechanism of rolling over your debt and paying off your credit card so that you never build equity in your house are over. You got to get the message that 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 was a mistake back before the financial crisis, and it's going to be a mistake in the future because we're not going to see that appreciation. You need to get a house that's paid off by the time you're 70, so you have that equity available, so that you don't have to make a mortgage payment when your income goes down. You know, the, one more thing about Chapter 13: if you get behind on that home equity line of credit. Chapter 13 can be used to catch you up, too. And the last thing is, remember, if you're ever facing foreclosure and the foreclosure sale date is imminent and the time is up to make a deal, if you file that Chapter 13 before it goes to sale, you it stop stops the, foreclosure. the sale. We'll be back with the next segment of Law & Reality. <laughs> 